Good morning and welcome to day 54 on the AT. My name is Mosey. This is Rissa Romes. Uh, we are leaving Damascus today. Stopped and got a coffee. Um, the town is very quiet and sleepy this morning. Um, I'm not quite as stiff as I was uh, as far as the Achilles goes, so we're hoping that goes well. Gonna take lots of breaks today uh, and hope for the best. realized I had left a cookie in the fridge at the place, so I had to go back and get that. Uh, rolling out for real this time, very full backpack, five days of food, trying to make it to Marion. Um, it doesn't feel terrible yet, but I'm walking on a street, so we'll see how I feel once I start going uphill. Beautiful water source here on the side of the road, sitting here filtering. Well, finally hitting actual trail um, an hour and 10 minutes after I left the hostel. Um, went and got my coffee, had to do the road walk to the trail, and then stopped to filter water, then called Michael to talk about the shoe situation before I lose service. So for context here, um, my shoes were doing fine. They weren't perfect, but um, you know, they weren't causing any serious issues. Um, Michael was pretty bound and determined to help me find the perfect shoes. The perfect shoes do not exist. So, um, yeah, we tried another pair. Um, you'll see that coming up, but perfect shoes don't exist. I'm doing okay. It's fine. Getting yet another pair of shoes to try. Um, not because of the Achilles. Um, I don't think the shoes caused this. I think my own stupidity did. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I don't quite think the normals are for me. So we're trying something new. Uh, excited about it. Talk to you about them when we get there or when we get them. But here we go. Hiking uphill. Praying my Achilles doesn't die. Ooh, pretty. So much mountain laurel here. I'm so happy to be back on trail. Uh. So now that I'm riding solo for a little bit, no Mojo, no Burl, no Chicken Little, no Tom, the Bird Sisters and Iron Horse, are up ahead. Everyone I know is up ahead. I get to sing my favorite quote from Shrek. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. But I'm just being dramatic. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna meet new people. I may catch up to old friends. We'll see what happens. The adventure awaits. Whatever you pack into this campsite, pack it out. And right below, I feel like that's a direct slap in the face. Ugh, hate to see it. When I tell you this whole stretch of trail has just been lined with mountain laurel, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, makes me so happy. Uh, I'm still looking forward to tunnels of rhododendron blooms. I can't wait to see those as well. But man, this is pretty. Just ran into a guy, I assume he's a section hiker, said his name is Seeds, like sunflower seeds. But I turned around, he was like right behind me. And I was kind of surprised. And he apologized for scaring me. I said, no, it's fine. Happens all the time. And then he asked what my name was and I said Mosey, which is why I'm used to being passed all the time. <laughs> yeah, so got home up ahead and then Blue, who I met in Franklin, back behind.
So the first little climb out of Damascus wasn't too terrible. Uh, the heels are feeling okay so far. Now we're going downhill before we do another steep climb. At least it looks like it on the map up to the first shelter where I plan on probably, if I haven't already stopped for lunch, stop for lunch there. Um, I don't intend to spend the night there. I'd like to push a little bit further just so I can get closer to the next shelter and not have to make up more miles later in the week. But we'll see how the body feels right now. Uh, we're aiming for a 13 and a half mile day, but if I get to the shelter and want to stop, that'll be nine and a half. So here we go downhill for a bit before we climb back up. Just found this little guy hopping across the trail. Hello, buddy. So, not sure where I'm gonna stop for a lunch break today, but after looking at the map, I realized that the first shelter is actually pretty far off trail, and your girl's not doing extra miles. So we're gonna have to find somewhere else. Ooh, that is a nice bridge. Wow. a little lunch buddy here with me showing off it's so weird you know I'm out here on the trail there's not a ton of people but then all of a sudden like you'll hear bike bells and people talking because right below is the Virginia Creeper Trail and it just like is very surprising because you're not used to hearing you know bells uh, when you're hiking in the woods it's just very funny got a few rhododendrons in bloom uh, so pretty Oh my gosh, it's the trifecta down there. We have flame azalea, rhododendron, and mountain laurel. So cool. Oh, I love seeing everything in bloom. I acknowledge that this is probably a stupid idea and I may very well regret it. I'm thinking about pushing to the next shelter, which would make today a 15.5 mile day. And I know you're saying, Marissa, you did two 16 milers and you thought you were going to die. You said you were going to slow it down and here you are changing your mind. Well, my plan was to do 13 and a half today if I felt up to the task, which I did. Um, I'm probably at 11 and a half miles now. I went past the first shelter. Um, and... I was planning on doing a 15 mile day tomorrow, but tomorrow is going to be the climb up Mount Rogers, which I hear is a good deal of climbing, and uh, Tom said at the end it's a little bit technical, more rocky, so I'm just thinking I would rather tomorrow 
be the shorter day because the terrain today hasn't been bad. And so I'm thinking about going the 15 and a half today and then just doing like 12 and a half tomorrow. So same thing, we're just almost, we're just kind of flipping it around. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully take a break at the stagnant pond coming up soon um, if the rain doesn't hit um, and then we'll see how we feel. Um, yeah, I may be making a mistake, but I think that's what I want to do. Especially that way I can probably camp with some people tonight. I was just gonna find a tent site um, near the creeper junction on the river. So there were some tent sites there, but you know, I'd probably be alone and that's okay. I've done it. I've done it already. Um, I can camp alone, but yeah, hmm. we'll see how this goes. Another thing is if I stop now, it's still pretty early. Um, and I would just be sitting around fighting all the gnats, trying to fly in my eyes <laughs> until bedtime. Uh, at the shelter, I probably won't get there until at least five o'clock, maybe later than that. Uh, we'll see. Just took a break next to what is in fact a stagnant pond. Had a snack, took my shoes off for a minute, stretched out my calves, and rolled my ankles some, and we're going for it. Ran into Toots. Um, she's going to the shelter. Um, she said she would see me there. I said, we shall see. Currently on the roughly half a mile stretch of trail that overlaps with the Virginia Creeper. I was planning on finding a campsite somewhere around here. I'd read that there were some. I haven't seen some yet, but we are about two miles from the shelter and we're gonna go for it. Whether or not that's the best decision, I don't know. I'm about a mile and a half from the shelter. I think the rain is about to start. It's getting dark. The wind is kind of starting to blow. Oh, thunder. There we go. All right, let's go. So, um, it did start to rain right before I got here uh, to the shelter. Um, it was really windy. I was kind of scared uh, because I saw um, I saw trees like winds blowing down and kind of nerve-wracking. It chilled out when I got here and I fixed my tent. Um, it just started raining though and I already can tell that I'm probably going to wake up swimming in the morning. So that's fun.